interest rate cuts don't happen during good times. Something important. For markets to remember, amid hotly anticipated easing next year from the Federal Reserve, if the Fed meets market expectations and starts cutting aggressively in 2024, it likely will be against a backdrop of a sharply slowing economy and rising unemployment, which in turn would bring lower inflation. Central bank policymakers, however, won't cut for the sake of cutting. There will have to be a compelling reason to start easing, and even then rate decreases, are likely to come slowly unless something breaks and the Fed is forced into more aggressive action. The market keeps trying to front-run these rate cuts, only to be disappointed, said Kathy Jones, chief fixed-income strategist at Charles Schwab. In a different cycle, when inflation hadn't spiked so much, I think the Fed would have been cutting rates already. This is a very different cycle. There is going to be much more caution on their part. The latest market rumble over the prospect of rate cuts came Tuesday morning, when Fed Governor Christopher Waller said he could envision easing policy if inflation data cooperates over the next three to five months. Never mind that fellow Governor Michelle Bowman, just minutes later, said she still expects rate hikes will be necessary. The market instead chose to hear Waller more clearly, perhaps because he has been one of the more hawkish Fed officials. When it comes to monetary policy, while Bowman was merely reiterating an off-stated position, five rate cuts anticipated. If the economy moderates at all, you could be talking about a real disinflation story, and I think that's what Waller would be getting at, said Joseph Lavorna, chief economist at SMBC Nico Securities America. If the real Fed funds rate continues to go higher, as I expect it will, then you would want to offset that through rate cuts. And the amount of rate cuts I think they're going to have to do is a relatively large amount. Lavorna, the chief economist at the National Economic Council under former President Donald Trump, said he thinks the Fed could have to cut by as much as 200 basis points next year, or 2 percentage points. Market pricing has grown more aggressive on Fed policy easing with Fed funds futures now pointing to five-quarter percentage point rate cuts next year, one more than before the latest speeches, according to the CME Group. Stocks have rallied since as investors prepare for lower rates.